Hello everyone and welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to create this classic super saw from scratch using Biotech 3. This sound is a staple in genres like EDM, trance, future bass, and many other electronic styles. We'll be using the Spinal Saw module in Biotech 3, a tool specifically designed to generate dense, rich sounds. This module features a voice generator and independent detune control, making it perfect for crafting this type of sound. Let's get started. First, navigate to the Edit page and select a clean patch to start from scratch. From the Oscillator 1 menu, choose Spinal Saw as your main sound source. We can click the magnifying glass to access the module's settings and adjust its parameters. Using the cluster parameter, set the number of voices to 8. This value is ideal for achieving a rich and dense sound. Then, tweak the detune parameter to a value between 20% and 30% to create the movement characteristic associated with super saws. To widen the sound in the stereo field, set the unison module to two voices and increase the spread to a value between 30% and 50%. This gives the sound a broad and immersive feel while maintaining a solid presence in the center. Next, we'll adjust the amplitude envelope to define the sound's dynamics. Set a quick attack of 2 to 5 milliseconds for a punchy start. A sustain level of 60% to maintain energy while the note is held. And a release of around 300 milliseconds for a smooth, natural decay. We'll add a reinforcement layer an octave below. This will mirror the parameter settings of oscillator 1 and will provide additional weight to the sound. Now balance the volume levels of both layers to achieve a well-rounded mix. To add subtle movement, We'll use a slow LFO to modulate the cluster and detune parameters of the spinal saw. Click on the first LFO tab and set the rate of LFO1 to around 200 milliseconds. Keep the LFO phase in free mode so the modulation starts randomly each time the sound is triggered and then apply the modulation amount to the cluster detune parameters for a gentle effect. We will also modulate oscillator 2. In the new interface, we can move between the oscillators by clicking on their corresponding box. In this case, we will click on 2, which is where we have configured the other sound source. From the effects section, we'll now add a touch of light distortion. Adjusting the drive level to between 10 and 15% will add sufficient character without oversaturating the sound. It's important to ensure this preset works well with chords by avoiding excessive distortion and preventing the sound from becoming muddy. To add some complexity to the sound, we'll now select a chorus effect from the second effects slot. Set the mix between 10 and 15% and the feedback to around 25%. This will give the sound a richer texture and a wider feel. Now we'll use the natural reverb in slot 4 to add some space to the super saw. Set the mix to 
and the decay to around 5 milliseconds. Then adjust the low cut filter to around 180 hertz to avoid interference in the low end frequencies. To refine the sound further, we'll navigate to the EQ to make some adjustments. Click the magnifying glass to expand the view. Currently, our sound is a little broad, and it might overshadow other instruments in a mix. We'll boost the frequencies between 2 kHz and 5 kHz, around 6 decibels, for added brightness and clarity. We can also add a couple of decibels to the highs, around 5 kHz for more definition. Reduce the mids around 300 Hz by 6 decibels, and then select a low cut filter to cut low end frequencies below 150 Hz. You can make subtle adjustments to get the sound exactly how you want it. Finally, We'll use Envelope 1 to create a more defined attack. To start, click on the Envelope 1 2 tab. The transient is the initial hit or click part of a sound that helps grab the listener's attention. Using an envelope to modulate things like pitch or amplitude can create a fast sweep that emphasizes this moment. We'll bring Node 2, the sustain, right down and adjust the curve. Click the Envelope 1 button and then select 24 from the semitones value menu in the common module. This makes the pitch start high and then quickly drop down to the bass pitch. Keep the attack short in the 1 to 5 millisecond range so the tonal sweep happens immediately. Set the decay between 5 and 10 milliseconds, depending on how loud you want the attack. This parameter defines how long it takes for the pitch to reach the bass value. We'll experiment a bit to get the right result. And that's it. You now have an epic super saw crafted from scratch using the spinal saw module in Biotech 3. This preset is designed to perform well with chords. So experiment with different combinations of unison, modulation and effects to tailor the sound to your musical style. Thanks for watching and see you in the next sound design tutorial.